We've only gone out together three times, and already you're telling me you just want to be friends? You never gave me a chance, and for that, you'll fry like a pork sausage. Not that I don't like you, it's just that, well, you're too nice a guy, I guess. I think I'd rather go out with someone more of the unpredictable. Well, that was unpredictable. <laughs> Hello. Hi. This doesn't look like the Lincoln Tunnel, Sam. Looks to me like a marginally volatile hostage situation, Max. Ooh, does this mean we get to kick some puffy white mad scientist butt? Can't think of a reason not to. You'll be of no use, freelance police. With the flip of a lever, my ungrateful lunch date will be reduced to a half cup of disoriented atomic matter. I knew he wasn't a real doctor. Uh, shall I confront, subdue, and pummel the suspected perpetrator, Sam? Sick him up, little buddy. Oh, God! Ooh. Ow. They don't make them like they used hey, to. Nice one. Yikes! Huh? He's not a real guy, Sam. Can I keep his head for a souvenir? Why do you suppose it's ticking? That's no head, Max. It's one damned ugly time bomb. Oh. Let's leave this criminal Ugh. cesspool pronto. Good idea, Sam. Maybe we can ditch the head somewhere while the credits are running. Four fall break! If I drive? Not if you don't mind me clawing at the dash and shrieking like a cheerleader. <laughs> Sam, is pronto a real word? Goodbye, Sam and Max. I'll never forget all you've done here today. They don't make entrance like this anymore. Hello there, people on the planet Earth. It's DJ Liam Mac. Welcome to a new Let's Play of Sam and Max Hits the Road. There it is. There's the Hit the Road bit. I have never played a Sam and Max game before. I've watched the cartoon when it first came out back on Fox Kids. And to be say anything, it was an interesting show. I liked it. But I've always wanted to give Sam and Max Hit the Road. Hit the, hit the Road. Hit the. Yeah, hit the road a, a chance, and it just got released on Steam, so I thought, let's give it a shot. And not to mention, it's an old school Lucas Arts film. Uh, Lucas Arts film, Lucas Arts game. They don't make them like they used to. Oh, <laughs> Mac, I love Max. I'm a Max. My best friend's a Sam, I'm a Max. I'm the cuckoo bit rabbit. Long ass intro. Takes forever, but it's just taking its time. Cause it's Sam and Max. They are. The dynamic duo. One, two, three, four. It's Sam and Max hits the road. So, this is our office. Well, that was a pleasantly understated credit sequence. <laughs> I enjoyed the cheesy retro ambiance. What the hell are you talking about, Max? Sam, either termites are burrowing through my skull, or one of us is ticking. Oops. Oh, oh the, yeah. Did you not throw it away? Max, where should I put this so it doesn't hurt anyone we know or care about? Out the window? Out the window, Sam. <laughs> There's nothing but strangers out there. <laughs> I mean, no one we know at least. I hope there was nobody on that bus. Oh shit. Nobody we know at least. <laughs> I am Max! Oh. I'll get it! I got it! I got it! Oh. What the hell? Oh! Did you just throw him out the window? Hello? Yes? 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 No? Really? <laughs> he just well, casually walks back in 
like nothing happened. What another even? Confused census taker? Actually, it was the commissioner with another idiotic and baffling assignment. Does it involve wanton destruction? We can only hope. Wanted destruction, my favorite. Due to the arbitrarily sensitive nature of the mission, we'll be meeting a bonded city courier out on the street. Ooh, smells like a fiercely thickening plot. Ooh, lovely. Now do I get to do- I get to do stuff now. I get to point and click. It's Max. Yes, my rabbity sidekick. Vertical silverware storage. Let's look out the window. I want to see what happened. Oh, uh, TV? We've been through a lot together, this TV and I. <laughs> uh, the phone. This phone represents unhindered contact with the outside world. Until they realize we don't pay the bills. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, is there anything I can grab? This is no time for chit-chat. Uh, can I talk to the phone? I can't talk to that. What if I talk to Max? Uh, question mark? Are you as confused as I am? More so. <laughs> I'm excited. Who is it? Uh, okay, what does the rubber ducky do? I'm thinking of a number between 1 and 10, and I don't know why. Me too. <laughs> well, that's all. Oh, okay, that's how I leave. Uh, so, what happens? Uh, nope, nothing here. Never mind. Uh, what does this do? I can't use these things together. So I can't use Max with the phone. Fair enough. Let's go. Out Let's go out. We need to go outside anyway. What? Those bullet holes, by the way. Oh. Joe, you want a piece of me, huh? Well, take a piece of this. Yeah, she. Oh shit! Brutal. But very true to life. <laughs> and here's one for your old man. Oh. It's a smiley face. I really respect Flint's business acumen. Please, Sam, don't use the word acumen again. Yeah, can we do anything with this body? Gratuitous acts of senseless violence are my forte. <laughs> oh. <laughs> You're such an adorable urchin, Max. I will. Can I adopt you, Max? Can I look at these? Uh, is there anything? No, there's nothing for me to look at or. <laughs> I'm already in love with this game and everything it stands for. So I'm meant to mate someone out here. There's blood. There's a cat, a sign, a car, Max, pigeons, drinking beer. Just a bunch of intoxicated pigeons. The drinking alcohol. I love this car. It's a good car. You're a sick puppy, Sam. <laughs> and you're a twisted bunny, Max. Okay, what about uh, walking over here? There's a cat. What's the cat look? What do I do with the cat? Oh, it's a cute little hypercephalic kitten. I, I am repulsed by his bulging eyes. Yeah, very anime-like. They're creepy as hell. Can I do anything? Can I hit it? I won't it? pick that kitten up. I don't know where he's been. That is very true. Can I talk to the cat? Hey there, little fella. You talking to me? <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, I'm talking to you. Maybe. Are you a cleverly disguised bonded city courier? Maybe. Are you the freelance police? Maybe. Yes, but don't go blabbing it to everybody. I think he's kind of cute, Sam. How is that? Can I make a tennis racket out of him? Oh, please do. <laughs> Maybe later, Max. Right now, we've got a message from the commissioner to collect. Where is it? Oh, yeah, right. No, he's not gonna hawk it up, is he? Sorry, guys. I swallowed your orders for safekeeping. What? Well, now I can't seem to hawk them back up. Oh, uh, how are we gonna get them now? I mean, do I have to try to get them in, or... Max? Do you want to have some fun? I just love to turn this guy inside out. Ooh, that gives me an idea. What what is he doing? <laughs> what the <laughs> Cartoon violence. According to these orders, something bizarre is happening at the carnival. That wasn't bizarre? I that was the whole point. 
Maybe we should check it out when we've got nothing better to do. Like any time. <laughs> Wait, so... Okay, I have a map now. Go to the car. So there's something weird happening at a carnival. Okay. I can't use these things together. What can I use them for? Use them on Max, then. I can't use these things together. Okay, get in the car, then. You're about to hit the road. Hit the road. I can't pick that up. You can open the damn door. Can I use Max? Well, what do I use this on? Uh, or do I go back upstairs? Can't use it on the pigeons, can I? There's nothing else around here, is there? No, as far as I can tell. Can I talk to the pigeons, actually? I don't speak pigeons. <laughs> what about Max? Can I use Max? Nah, Max would just see how many of them he could stuff into his gaping maw. <laughs> that is true. I can't use these things together. Hey, I don't think Mr. Bosco's voluntarily giving away his money. Oh, I'm real terrified. A dog and a rabbit. Ooh, scary. This rat. Max, the smart-ass kid doesn't think we're scary. Oh, God, no. What do you think about that? <laughs> That's telling him, little buddy. <laughs> oh! I think that punk learned a valuable lesson, Sam. <laughs> Me too, Max. I didn't realize that the lower lip could stretch completely over the head. Oh my... Amazing. Well, we've learned a valuable lesson. Don't mess with Max. He will fuck you up. Is there anything I could do, or... What is this? What is this meant to be, like a squishy thing? Oh, now... Oh, so that's how I interact with shit. What the... Okay. So, where am I going? Where am I going? We're here. And I have to go there. Tom Nation and Blimey. The ain't here. So, now what do we do? Now? Now we get in the bus and look for him, you idiot. I knew that. It's a dwarf Johnny uh. Bravo. Dwarf Johnny Bravo, ladies and gentlemen. Get out of Mr. Bumpus' way, you partially clad varmints. Who are you calling varmint? Who is that? I don't know, but if it weren't for the carefree innocence of this carnival, I'd be breaking his kneecaps. <laughs> You're a demonic little imp, Max. I like you the Max. All right, so we need to go somewhere in the carnival? Oh, God. Watch where you're spitting fire, Mac. Hey, what's the holdup? Sorry, boys, we are closed. Closed? Like I let you in. Insurance reasons, you know. Like trying to barbecue us alive? Who is the Johnny Bravo uh, midget? Who are those misanthropes at the gate? Which misanthropes? The blonde the short one? one with the bad hair piece, and the tall one with the dark flinty eyes. Yeah, those hey, two. I just work here. Anything else? Uh... Let us in, only your breath. Nope. <laughs> okay, then what about the ducky? I want a corn dog. You'd better have a better reason than that if you expect me to let you in. We're the police? Don't you know who we are? I could not care less. Don't you know who okay, we are? Okay, just gonna loop. I could not care less. Just going to loop. I'll be back. I'll be back. I can hardly wait. You fire breathing jackass. Ashley, Max, have at him. I'd better not. Max is highly flammable, if not downright explosive. <laughs> yeah, he is kind of explosive. I'll kill him at that. Stop. What? I can't go there? Okay, then how about all the way over here? You fire... Stop. How could he... What do I have? Do I have anything that could, um... I have this... It's our orders from the commissioner, telling oh. us to hightail it down to the carnival. Right, so I have to use this. Oi! How do I get out of this? How do I get- oh. Stop! Yeesh! There! 
check this out, Jack. We're the freelance police. Here's our authorization to be here. Proof! Now let us in before we replace you with a cheap renewable fuel source. Let me run this by the boss. He's way off by Oh, God. Well? Uh, I guess you can go in. Good! Be careful. Cannibals can be dangerous to your health. <laughs> Cannibals? Now I'm concerned. That was needlessly cryptic. I'd be peeing my pants if I wore any. G yeah, that's funny. You're... Why is it that Max is not wearing anything, but Sam Everything is? Everything seems to be in order here. Sam, look over there. That man has a has a sink for a head. How dare you call in the authorities without consulting me? <laughs> well, I tried talking to you, but you were off wallowing in your own self-pity. Sammy twins! Yeah, but... It's them. Hi. I'm Shep Cushman, and this is my brother Burl. Welcome to our carnival. Nice to meet What's you. What's left of it? I'm Sam. He's Max. We savagely protect the rights of innocence. Very savagely. Even cruelly twisted ones such as yourself. Selves. Whatever. Well, you sound like just the guys to solve our little problem. What is your Walk problem? this way. I hope they would actually try walking that way. See this melted block of ice? Yes. How could we miss it? This used to be our main attraction. What was it? Your main attraction was a block of ice? <laughs> Don't be dense. Our main attraction was a genuine, authentic, real life Bigfoot. Bigfoot? On ice. Hey, let me get this straight. You want us to go traipsing all over the country looking for a soggy Bigfoot? I've never been traipsing before. Does it hurt? But Bruno must be returned to us. It's a Bigfoot named Brute, okay. He's a brutish, ignorant beast with no sense of right or wrong. Hey, who isn't? <laughs> Besides, he's kidnapped our second main attraction. Is that the block of ice? <laughs> no, it's Trixie the Giraffe Neck girl from Scranton. Giraffe she Neck? disappeared at the same time Bruno did. We can only assume that the monster took her when he made his escape. Or the elope. I guess Max and I could search for your missing freaks, but we'll need free run of the carnival to look for clues. Yeah, and free corn dogs, so we can yuke all over ourselves. All free corn no dogs. problem. Here's an all-day free pass. Thank you? Leave everything to us, and we'll have those abominations of nature back in your protective care before you can read the Koran. We'll get the freaks. Didn't he fight Godzilla? <laughs> Okay, uh, let's see. There is this. What is this? This is a completely unusable thingamabob. What, what is it? What the hell is this? Hold on, hold on. Let's look at this. It's a mange ridden tuft of Bruno's Sasquatch hair. Oh! I think it would make a swell toupee for balding computer programmers. <laughs> really stupid, Max. <laughs> I think that's a jab at LucasArts developers. I likey. Okay, what is over here? Actually, no, 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 wait, wait, wait. Let's look at this. I want to look at this. He's a nice guy, but sort of a drip. <laughs> then there's this man right here with three legs. How Kafkaesque. Then there's whatever this is. It's Max. That doesn't, that, not hit, not Max. This. What about this? The head in a jar. So this is what happens to unsuccessful third-party presidential candidates. Oh. Okay, what about the weird baby man in a jar? He looks delicious. Ugh. Ugh. Very ugh. What is Max doing? I Come on, let's go over to the trailer. We're at the circus. Okay, let's go in here. I better do something about that padlock first. Oh, there's a pad. Oh, okay, so I need to get that. I need to get rid of the padlock first. If I didn't know that this guy was a highly skilled professional, I'd be very afraid. I'd still be afraid. Talk. Excuse us. We need some help, and although you seem dangerously unequipped brain-wise, we've come to you for advice. Huh? <laughs> uh, what do you know about Bigfoot? What do you know about Bruno the Bigfoot?
Who wants to know? We do. We're the freelance police, and we're in a race against time. And we're barefoot. All I know about Bruno is what the Cushmans tell me. Well, that was useless. Very useless. You might want to try the Tunnel of Love, though. Rumor has it that one of Bruno's buddies hangs out in there. Okay. Well, let's go, Sam. Oh, hush. <laughs> we're not a thing. We've had too much of that already, Max. Do you have any idea what happened to Trixie? The giraffe neck girl? Trixie, the giraffe girl from Scranton? Yeah. No, Trixie, the talkative poodle. <laughs> She's my best customer. She used to ride the cone of tragedy for hours on end. Cone of tragedy? I the way her neck used to whip back and forth when I cranked it up to full speed. Oh, God. Your is a credit to your profession. That's horrifying. Me and my partner want to ride the cone of tragedy. That's right. We've lost our will to live. <laughs> I'm not supposed to, but what the heck? You two look like a couple of caring, non-litigious mammals. Strap yourselves in, and I'll turn on the call. Oh, this is gonna be good. This is gonna be good. So how do we do this? Wait. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna be sick! Oh god! <laughs> it's just a pile of pixels! Okay. Are we still alive? <laughs> That's CPR for ya! Oh, that was a trip. Ooh, I feel tragically empty. Me too. It's as though an integral part of my essence has been ripped from my being. Really? Let's do it again. <laughs> no! Maybe later, chum. Never again. Let's go. We need to go to the Tunnel of Love. Whoever that is. Okay, uh, over here. Lost and found. And it's in the lost and found. Holy cripes on toast. Nothing personal, but you're the single ugliest thing we've ever seen. Well, there was that computer game developers conference. <laughs> Have you lost something? I don't think so. I've lost my youthful enthusiasm and boyish good looks. You never had them. If you haven't lost anything, then get out of the lost and found tent. Yeesh, why an attitude? Touchy. Very touchy. Let's uh let's talk to Biggin right here. Hold on. What do you know about Bruno? I said him, not the tent. For God's sake, Max. I mean Sam. Talk. Doesn't that hurt? A lot. <laughs> I suppose there's a trick to eat. I just haven't been able to figure it out. Fine French! Your ineptitude gives hope to all of us further down on the food chain. Is there anything else I can do for you? Mm, well, what do you know about Bruno the Bigfoot? Did you ever talk to Bruno before he escaped? How could I? He was in a block of ice! Fair enough, what about Trixie? What do you know about Trixie? Absolutely nothing. You're, we you... never talk to each other. Ever. You're very useless. Oh. Who are those misanthropes at the gate? Which misanthropes? The short one with the bad hairpiece and the tall one with the dark flinty eyes. Hey, I just work here. Anything else? No, we're good. Uh, we're good. Good. I see a Cupid. That must be the tone of love. And a Satan in the background. Tunnel of love. Is this meant to be love or horror or horror house? Either way, I like both. Let's go on, shall we, Max? We'll need a free pass. We have a free. Hey, what happened to my carefully collected box of useless junk? <laughs> Where's I had a free pass? Or do I not have? Did I not actually take it? Oh, don't tell me I never. I can't pick that up. Okay, I just did a full 360 around this place. It's just one giant loop. Oh, wait, wait, wait. What, can I take this out? Can I unplug this? How about that? No. Okay, so... There's only so many things I can do. 
I don't think my head needs to be inflated beyond its already grotesque proportions. What about some skip ball? It's out of order. Damn it! What about wacko? What about wacka rat? Okay, let's go. Get that, you little rodent! Oh, did I just hit Max? <laughs> <laughs> Take that, you furry rodent! Take that! Oh, I, I feel like Peanut's gonna foam me a minute now. Winner! 28 points! What I win? I won something. What I win? What I win? Oh, I didn't want to play again. Oh, never mind. I feel like Peter's gonna be on my ass any minute now about this. <laughs> this is fun. Whack a rat! It's fun for the whole family. Just whack them on their tiny little rodent heads. Before you know it, they'll be—they don't know what's happened to them. Little rat. Winner, twenty-seven points. <laughs> okay. Game must be out of prizes. Okay. Okay. Well, I never actually did get the prize I got. Let's get this. What the? It's a flashlight. I mean, okay, I'll take the flashlight. Don't know what I'm going to ever use the flashlight for, but I need to get that pass first if I didn't get already. Does he still have it? Uh, excuse me, Monsieur, do you have the pass? I don't indiscriminately use people, except Max. <laughs> okay, what would happen if I used Max on them? Sick him! I don't think he'd want that. Okay, okay. The uh, talk? Um, uh, which one do I talk to? Me! Me! Him! Him! <laughs> okay, that makes life a lot easier. Is there anything else you can tell us about your escape, Bigfoot? Well... He's a Bigfoot. He's escaped. He's a menace to society. What more could you possibly need to know? Does he talk? Hi, Sam. I don't think my colossal head could retain any more knowledge. <laughs> but, I mean, it is a very big head for a bunny. What can you tell us about Trixie? She's a very caring, sensitive young woman. If you care about that kind of stuff. I do. She used to sing folk songs to the other freaks in her trailer. Aww. You ever heard a Scrantonese folk song? No. You don't want to. Okay. Oh, there was one other thing. She likes her men like the Statue of Liberty. Green and rusty? Tall and dense. <laughs> uh, that's, that's clever. Who are those guys we bumped into out by the gate? Uh, what guys? One was a short guy with big hair. The other one was a tall guy with big hands. Yeah. Oh, you must be talking about internationally renowned recording star Conroy Bumpus. Conroy and Bumpus? And Lee Harvey. Bumpus? Who's Conroy Bumpus? He's a loon. Insane. Insane and in the membrane. And Western singer, The Boot. No. He actually wanted to buy Bruno and Trixie from us. He Boy, to... was he steam when he found out that we didn't have them anymore. He wanted to buy the Bigfoot and the Giraffe Neck Girl? Okay. Have you ever thought about surgery? What for? <laughs> uh, Never mind. I'll bet life is an unending torment for you guys. Actually, it's not so bad. Speak for yourself. I think... <laughs> Where do you buy your clothes, anyway? Yeah, what's a good question? These aren't clothes. Our skin is naturally green and vinyl-like. Oh, Lord, God. Uh, he's buck naked. <laughs> so are you. Yeah, but I'm cute and marketable. <laughs> he is marketable. Well, it's back to the Bigfoot hunt. Where's the thing? Where's the ticket? I have a ticket. I can't talk to that. Can I talk to him? Hi. <laughs> oh, I just want giant nose. 
can I talk to him? Hi. And he doesn't talk either. Moving on. I need to get to the Tunnel of Love, but where do I get the tickets? I had a ticket! Well, there's nowhere for me to go, so... Besides where that is. I need to get on the Tunnel of Love. The question is, I how do I? Max? I can't use these things together. That'd be funny! I think this is the proverbial ugly swan that used to be a beautiful duckling. Oh. Okay, talk to it. No. We'll need a free pass. But I have an all-day free pass. I, I can't. I can't use these things together. I mean, I have a flashlight. I had a pass. And then it just vanished. Hold on, hold on. I want to look at that. Oh, really? I can't pick that up. Look at it. Tunnel of love. Can I throw Max at it? Can I talk to Max? Are you as confused as I am? More so. <laughs> I'm excited. Who is it? Okay, uh, about Max. You're looking hale and hearty, little buddy. I'm a coffee achiever, Sam. Uh, I feel like he would chug down a lot of coffee. That's how hyper he looks. I wonder where Bruno is. I'm still trying to figure out where I am, Sam. You're at a carnival. I wonder where Trixie is. I shudder to think of the indignity she's suffering at the hands of that brute Bruno. I wish I knew what happened to all that cool stuff I'd collected. Maybe it went to inventory heaven. <laughs> That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard, Max. It will explain where everything else goes in every other sequel. I'm concerned about this Conroy Bumpus character. Don't worry, Sam. We'll mop up the floor with his cheap toupee. <laughs> it is a very cheap well, toupee. That's all. Looks so much like a giant Bravo toupee. It's not even funny. Now, the thing about these old point and click games, you never know what you gotta do. Okay, uh, is there anything over here? Huh. So that's what I need. That's how I switch between the items. Uh, hmm. Lost and found. Actually, where's the ticket? I don't know where the ticket is. Maybe it's in the lot. Or maybe, hold on. Hit this. I don't think I possess the psychotic strength needed to ring the bell. But Max does. Hey, Max. What? Can you ring that bell? Sure. Go for it, little buddy. You're my hero, little buddy. I knew Max would come in handy eventually. I can't use these things together. Then let's go into the lost and found again. I still can't get over your incredible grotesqueness. Have you lost something? Yes! I lost a whole bunch of neat junk. Have you got a claim ticket? Claim well, ticket? No, but... Do you think we let just any dog-faced guy in a suit come in here and take stuff? Yes. Come back when you got a claim ticket. Where do I get a claim ticket? Touchy. I Where do I get a claim fucking ticket? I can't use these things together. Oh, God. I t the one thing about old-school point clicks, you never know what you gotta do. 